Hello my friends, I finally made something that involves Lora. I'm introducing to you newish LilyGo T-Deck Plus ESP32 device with built-in touch display keyboard, uh, GPS, LoRa, speaker, microphone, SD card slot this hard plastic case and what I really like a huge 2000 mAh battery I was excited to try this one because of LoRa and GPS and to be honest I never tried LoRa or play with LoRa uh, device came with installed mesh tastic installed mesh tastic and I um, I will try <laughs> mesh tastic later I wanted to program this not to use for mesh tastic I also got this T-Echo mesh tastic so I will probably use this for mesh but I made something similar this LoRa messenger these two guys can communicate using LoRa they can send simple messages I already made uh, similar projects using ESP now but the range of LoRa is many many times greater I will talk about uh, range later let's write simple message mm. where Why? Where? T-Deck Plus looks like a, like a phone we used we used many years ago and I miss those times when each phone looked different this is a Blackberry design I guess which works great it even ha have a backlight for keys it is very rare to see ESP32 device packed with so many features and which and with a huge battery 2000 million powers and I already have plan to make elegant GPS uh, speedometer using it I will mount it on my bike to track speed kilometers time and other data it will be easy to mount because of this screw which fits on let me see do I have some which fits on tripods for example T-Deck Plus is quite new so is sold out <laughs> very often on uh, LilyGo site but they are working on new stocks so feel free to check it maybe it is available now link is in description and don't forget to check my channel and to subscribe if you aren't already code for this is in description so feel free to use it was a little challenging to make two-way communication but uh, I'm really happy how it turned out this LoRa chip is quite common in LilyGo LoRa products so this code can also be useful to learn how this works how to make two-way communication and I wanted to make it simple so I use the TFT SPI library not LVGL project itself when device is booting it will randomly give you some nerdy ID or your name and interface is really simple here is analog read of battery I still need to figure out what is 100% what is zero and I can use this great keyboard to write some message for example hello and I can send it with enter or I can use capital letter great I can use commas great you again
or I can write something and delete. It works very great. I can re reduce brightness of screen. Oh no, now it's much better using this trackpad. Overall, very, very nice. Uh, here I can see number of send message and number of received message. Messages are in different color. And that's it. Feel free to use this code. And yes, I almost forgot. Range. I tested the range of these devices and one device was constantly one device was a transmitter and I took other device as a receiver and we went in car I will short my story range was 350 meters outside so this one this one was outside in my backyard and this one was with me in my car and when I noticed that I'm not receiving new messages I went out of car and I received just few more messages so range was 350 meters which is not good for uh, Laura but you can put, but um, I use built-in antenna, which is not great. You can, they put those holes, so you can put your own antenna. For example, I can remove this antenna and mount this here inside this connector. And that way I can increase range. They probably wanted to keep this format as this nice and good looking format. But it is nice to know that range can be improved very easily and you can uh, even experiment with, with different antennas. That's it. That was TDEC Plus. Links are in the description very nice device and I can't wait to make GPS speedometer because I heard that those speedometers are more precise than that re regular bicycle speedometers. Have a nice day, goodbye.